It's a beautiful day out in Carroll, and we have two Siouxland teams looking to fight their way into the semifinals. Let's get right into the action. First up for Siouxland, the Akron Westfield Westerners who made their first trip to the state tournament since 2017. This is Nathan Gaswin on the mound, and he'd make a statement early on. The sophomore will strike out the side to open the game. Bottom of the third, Carter Wilkin at the dish. He rips a shot out into the gap in right field. It's bobbled out in right. Tate Colt will score. Wilkins on third, and the Westerners lead 1-0. Next batter is Connor Wendell. He pulls a ground ball by the third baseman and into the outfield. Wilkin comes home. It's 2-0. Akron Westfield. Top four. Bulldogs with one already in. This pitch is sent to center field. Eric Allard is there. He'll make the grab, but it's deep enough to bring in the run, and this thing is tied. We'd end up in the ninth inning. Bases loaded, one out. Carter Wilkin gets the bunt down. Allard scores. The safety squeeze work. Akron Westfield advances with a walk-off 3-2 win. We basically knew that the squeeze is coming with one out. Uh, we do it a lot during the year. Gordy's known for squeezing with uh, bases loaded and we're tied or down by one. And you kind of could feel it coming. My heart rate was up. I didn't know if they were coming home. I just made sure I was sliding, saw my teammates, and then just started celebrating. It was oh, awesome. Akron Westfield will battle Linville solely in the semifinals at 7 p.m. Wednesday in Carroll. Next up, we've got Remsen St. Mary's battling North Lynn. First inning down two. Hunter Pick yanks this thing into left field. Dean and Laux heads home. It's two to one. After tying things up in the first, the floodgates open up. Keaton Harpenoff sends this thing towards short, and it gets a bad hop. That'll bring in another run. It's four to two. Not long after, Landon Walshmitt sends this thing right back where it came from. We're going to have a play at the plate, but Brady going slide. And well, he tumbles in safely. Remsen St. Mary's advances with a 10-6 win. Last year, watching the seniors and all of them have fun and all the fun they had winning, it just it's something when I, I want to experience my own actually playing. So now, I mean, game one done, so two more to go. No, not at all. I mean, this experience, these fans, these teammates, these coaches, I mean, nothing will ever, nothing will ever top this moment for me. But the action wasn't limited to Merchants Park here in Carroll. As over in Cedar Rapids, Sports Force's Irvin Doman was covering the Bishop Healing Crusaders. After an early afternoon rain delay here in Cedar Rapids, the Bishop Healing Crusaders finally got to take to the field to battle the Pella Dutch just after 8 o'clock on Monday evening. The Dutch up in the top of the first. Nathan Carey, he finds a gap in between the gloves of two Crusaders, and that gives Samuel Carlson time to make his way home and it is a one nothing lead for Pella but here come the Crusaders in the bottom half of the inning it's Brady Baker as he drops this beauty in the right center gap and that brings in Drew Ewell and now we're all tied up at one apiece now we head to the bottom of the second Jaron Bleeker takes his place at the dish where he hits it straight to second but a perfectly timed slide by George Shabanos leaves the defense with no play and Hunter Wahab scores the leading run once again, it's Bleeker getting an RBI as he gets this in the gap between first and second. That's going to score Wahab. That is a 3-1 lead for the Crusaders as they advance to the 3A semifinal round. You know, I thought Jaron was excellent, obviously, right? I mean, I thought their pitcher was phenomenal. Uh, we had, I felt like we had a pretty good approach most of the game. Uh, but, I mean, at this point, everybody's going to be good. So, you know, we got to play better and uh, you know, get to Wednesday. That's the idea, right? In Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Irvin Doman, KTIV Sports Force.